Hi everyone, today we're doing an art project and uh, if you have crayons or colored pencils, those will work the best today for our project. Today we're working on an art piece uh, based on the Jefferson Memorial. So the memorial is in Washington, DC. It's really a nice memorial, so hopefully someday you'll get to see it in person. And uh, it's a color by number assignment today. So down at the bottom, you'll see the colors. I'll point to them here. So number one stands for orange, two pink, three red, and so on. And if you look on your printout, you'll see the numbers all around the page. So in the upper, for example, in the upper left corner here, it says the number one. And then there's, uh, in fact, I'll just kind of highlight it here. So I start on the left side and color everything inside that shape. It's kind of a long shape. That's how colors, color by numbers work. Now today, I think we should probably do a nice uh, bright background. What's going what's gonna to happen is this is all going to be uh, black right here. So the monument is going to be a silhouette where we don't see any details on the silhouette in the, on the monument, but we see the bright background. It's going to be a nice bright sky when we're done. So let's uh, kind of press hard today on the crayons without breaking them, of course, but uh, that will help kind of brighten our, our background. And then let's see what else. Down here we have the uh, name, and that will be, let's see, number three. So number three is red. So when you get down to the letters, we're going to color in those letters red. All right, here we go. So let's start with, uh, I'm going to start with orange. So again, find your orange crayon or colored pencil works. Probably not marker. I would stay away from marker. Markers, as you know, get kind of sloppy at times, kind of messy. Let's see how I can do this. All right, so I just jump right in. Yeah, I'm pressing hard, so I like the color that's coming out. And I'm just going to color. It's kind of tricky because this uh, we have to stay inside the lines, and the lines are small. There's some narrow passages here, so just do the best you can. And the way I'm coloring is I'm, I'm taking my time. I'm just going back and forth, left and right, left and right. And that, first of all, it deepens the color, makes it a nice bright orange. And then it also gets rid of the uh, any white spots left behind. All right, so I've got my first one colored, and uh, I see a lot of like wax, like crayon particles. I don't want to smear my page, so I'm just going to very lightly brush them off so they don't interfere with the other colors. Sometimes it happens with the crayons. You, they kind of smear if you get extra pieces. I might even shake my paper off. Um, okay, so here's the question. Do we want to keep going with orange, or do we want to switch to another color? I think I'm going to keep going a little bit further. So let me let me find another number one. Yeah, I already I already like the brightness of it. So I like how it's coming out nice and bright. This would be a great sky to see in person. Maybe this was, uh, let's say, maybe half an hour after the sun went down and the, the clouds are in the sky and just really lights up. Just a real nice sunset. And I'll do one more number one. All 
Now, sometimes your crayon uh, it will become dull, not sharp. So just by using it, it's going to wear down. So what you can do is, is if it starts to lose its sharpness, the edge, you can just start coloring in one direction only, and that will help resharpen the crayon. You don't want to put it into a pencil sharpener, uh, that for two reasons. One, it might part of it might break off and get stuck in the sharpener. And two, the wax is not good for the sharpener. It would kind of dulls it, makes it less sharp. So over time, that would wear down your pencil sharpener. So really, the best way to sharpen a crayon is just to keep using it. Use one side only, and that kind of helps sharpen it. All right, so far, so good. I'm going to try pink. I'm going to try number two. So number two is pink. And yeah, it starts back up there at the top. So let me see what pink looks like for me. Same thing. I'm just going to come in nice and nice and, nice and bright. Yeah, I like the effect already. Again, just kind of circle one direction as you color. These are called the warm colors. I don't know if you remember from episode one we talked about the color wheel, but these are these are warm colors. Warm colors are pink, red, orange, yellow. Kind of the colors you would see in a fireplace, maybe. They kind of represent heat. So we call them warm colors. All right, I'm going to shake my page off here. It's going to kind of all those little particles. So let's talk about uh, the inside. So in the Jefferson Memorial, is a, it's basically it's a statue inside of a, a rotunda, inside of a, a monument. And so here's the statue. It's actually huge. It's 19 feet tall. And 19 feet is like stacking two basketball hoops on top of each other. So it's a really a tall statue. And it's of J Thomas Jefferson, our third president. And he... Uh, Helped write the Declaration of Independence back in 1776. And he just really liked, he really enjoyed uh, being an American. He was a lawyer. He worked for the government as a president. He was a scientist. He had a, a couple inventions. He collected books. He studied the weather. He was a farmer. He worked with uh, other countries. So he really had a, a full life. He helped expand our country with the Louisiana Purchase. So this is why we have a monument for him. He's just a, was a fantastic president, just somebody who really got America started. So there's his statue. And if I look at a statue in the center, it says number nine. And number nine is going to be black. So I'm just going to use my black crayon and go over it until all the white is gone. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to keep going and do the rest of the monument. Remember, silhouette means you don't see the front, the, the foreground, what's in front of you, but you see everything behind you. So this is just going to be a dark foreground, silhouette. And again, the, that way the sky just kind of, it's amplified. It just even looks even more spectacular. And the monument, uh, it's open, so you can see the as, you'll, as we do our assignment here, you'll see that the sky actually goes through the monument because it's an open. It's actually open 24 hours a day. It's kind of nice. You can go any time of the day to, to look at uh, Thomas Jefferson's statue, and then they have uh, you know quotes on the walls and his accomplishments. It's really a nice design. It's one of the, the most prestigious or most... Um, 
interesting designs in American architecture. So as I'm doing the, the monument, I'm just making short strokes with the black crayon again. Trying to fill in all the white, make it nice and dark. We want it a nice uh, even color. So if you see one side darker than the other, then go back and try to balance it out. And stay inside your lines. It takes time. This is coloring. Coloring is not always a, a fast activity, so we'll just take our time and make it look great. If I'm working too quickly, you can always pause the video. One thing that Thomas Jefferson did as a president was he, he sent out uh, some explorers, Lewis and Clark. And this was a time back in the early 1800s, around 1803. 1804, we really didn't know what was out there in America. We knew there were some, the American tribes were out there, but we really didn't know what the land looked like, where the rivers were. So Thomas Jefferson sent out uh, a team of explorers led by Lewis and Clark. And they went out for about two and a half, almost two and a half years, and they were exploring. They were camping out each night. They were traveling in the day, taking notes, making measurements, collecting samples of plants and animals. And when they got back to Washington, they showed Thomas Jefferson, and he was just amazed what was, what was out there, all the things that were out there. Part of America, America's goal was to be, become a country from coast to coast. So going from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. The reason was a couple of reasons. One was so that we could grow our country in the future. Farms, cities, trade. And the other reason was to keep other countries uh, away from us. We didn't want other countries bothering America. So if we controlled that land, then there's less chance that other countries might invade us or, or cause problems for us. So Jefferson saw that and the other founding fathers, and they, they wanted uh, to make sure that we could grow our country from coast to coast. All right, how's it going on your side? These are going to look great. I can just imagine your classroom wall full of uh, Thomas Jefferson memorials. And one technique you can do too is you see how I'm just coloring up and down, trying to keep it balanced. So if I go, if I see any white spots, what I can do is also I can go diagonally. So once I color up and down, then I might go back through and do a, a diagonal layer. Sometimes coloring involves layers. You might have to do a couple layers to get rid of all the white or to, or to blend it the way you want. I'm always surprised how long it takes to color something. <laughs> I always think always think of coloring as being a quick activity, but sometimes it's not. Let's see, Thomas Jefferson, I think he's the the nickel, right? He's on the I'm trying to remember. He's on the nickel. His, his picture's on the nickel. He's also on the two dollar bill. I don't know if you've ever seen a two dollar bill before, but he's also his his picture's on the two dollar bill. That's a, you know that's a great tribute if you ever if you ever get your face on on a country's money if they ever put your face on your on their money that means you did something some you did something well in your life 
So that's why we have our founding fathers on money, Washington, Lincoln, Jefferson. I would, you know, I would recommend once you start doing the the black monument, don't stop. Just keep doing the whole thing, even though it might take a while to do. Just keep doing the whole thing. That way, your, your hand, because your hand's kind of trained, right? My, I see right now, my hand is trained to do short strokes back and forth with the black. So I don't want to lose that that uh, routine that my hand is doing right now. I want to keep that flowing. So I'm just going to keep doing black until I finish this monument. Takes a while. All right, so we're at the 15 minute level, and that's usually when I like to pause the video and let you work on your own. And then we'll do a, a wrap up at the end. We'll We'll see how it all went. So at this point, I'm going to pause the video. And uh, I'll see you at the very end. Once you finish, come back and let's, let's, see, let's talk about it. All right, so I wrapped mine up, and boy, the sky really does come out, doesn't it? I really like the sky. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I see some white spots. I could probably go back and do another layer. Uh, looks good, though, overall. It's a, it's a nice assignment. And then don't forget, too, you have some questions to answer. So let's see, down here at the bottom. List four things you would show President Jefferson about America today. What a great question. You, you could show him a lot of things. Um, so I, I picked uh, like national parks. He has some great national parks. He never saw Yosemite, Yellowstone, uh, so that would probably impress him just to show him what our country looks like. I would definitely show him uh, Apollo 11, which was our first uh, landing on the moon. So I would show him the capsule that they used and, and the, the rockets and the whole, the whole system. I think he'd be fascinated by that, that we actually put people on the moon. Factories, yeah, we have some great factories in America. Just all the materials you have to buy and how the robots work and how people work in these factories that we have. And then my last choice was freeways. I'd show them how freeways work. Freeways are connecting every city in America, every town in America, every house in America. They're all connected to freeways through our road system. So I think you'd be very impressed with what we've done with our country. All right. Looks good. Looks good. So I'll wave goodbye and hopefully you had a, a good experience with this. We'll see you next time. Bye.